Hello everyone. Today our topic for discussion is nine color system. So my dear students, as we know that the Vijayanagar Empire was founded by Harihara and Bukka in 1336 on the banks of river on the banks of river Tunga, Bhadra, and they made Hampi as as their their capital. They made Hampi. So Hampi was the capital of Vijayanagar Empire. As we know that Vijayanagar means the city of victory. So one of the important characteristics of the Vijayanagar administration was the Amara Naik system. Amara Naik system was or Naik Kara system. So Vijayanagar rulers they gave due importance to provincial administration. The administration which existed in the provinces was called Naik Kara system. Was Naik Kara Naik Kara system. And we see that as and we know that the top grade officers of the army these were known as Naik Kara. So Naik Kara was the top grade officers in the army. These were Naik Kara or Holy Guards, Holy Guards. So Naik Kara system was one of the important feature, important characteristic feature of the Vijayanagar administration. Vijayanagar administration. And we see that this system it was similar to that. We see that feudal that of feudalism in Europe. According to this system, all the land were belonged owned by the rulers, owned by the rulers. And Naik Kara, we see they were assigned. They were assigned certain. Pieces of land called Amaram. So Amaram was a land grant given to a Naikas in lieu of their services, in lieu of their salaries, in lieu of their salaries. So Amaram was a was a land grant given to Naikas in lieu of their services, in lieu of their services. So Amaram Naikas were they were the top graded officers of the army. They were the head of the army, head of the provinces, head of the provinces, and we see that they were granted. Land in lieu of their services, which was usually, and we see that the, the uh, soldiers were usually paid in cash, and we see that they were responsible for expanding these naikas. They were the, they were responsible for maintaining law and order in the province. They were the head of the provinces, head of the, they were the autonomous. They have the, uh, the autonomous rulers of the provinces. Clear? And we see that the king, given, we see that given land grants to naikas. The Naikas were also for maintenance, law and order in the province. Law and order in the province, and we see that Naikas also they were also the commander of the forts, commander of the forts, clear. And we see that they collected revenue, they collected revenue from Amara, and we see that some of the revenues they were also used for maintenance of temples and irrigational work and irrigational work. So Naikas they did constructive workers for the welfare of the people in the provinces in the. Province is clear, and we see that these naikas they have to pay a fixed, annual financial contribution to their imperial exchange, exchequer, imperial exchequer, and they were required to maintain elephant. So naikas were responsible to maintain land order, and also they were responsible for to maintain army, to maintain elephants, horses, soldiers, or maintain officers solely in certain numbers, in certain numbers according to Nunes. And we see according to Nunes, there were more, there were there. Were more than two hundred naikas in the empire. Two hundred naikas. So naikas were the they were the military. They were the top grade military officers, military heads, military governors of the provinces. Clear? They were responsible for maintaining law and order in the province, and they were given a piece of land. This piece of land was known as Amara in lieu of their services. So Amara was a land grant given to naikas. Clear? And we see that the, all the land, all the land, they belong to. We see that all the land belong to the king. So king distributed land among naikas, among naikas, and we see that they will have administrative and revenue rights on their land, on their land. These naikas have administrative and revenue rights on their land. Clear? And we see that according to Nanis, there were more than two hundred naikas in the empire. So naikas they maintain law and order through naik. We see that naikas maintain law and order, law and order in the. Provinces and through Naikas, we see that the Naikas they acted as independent. They acted as independently. There existed political and administrative relation between the center and the provinces and the province. And they were responsible for maintenance of. They were responsible for maintenance of army and they were rather responsible. Sorry, maintenance of army entrusted in the hands of the Naikas. So Naikas maintained a standing army for the king. For the king, the Naikas were civil land. From the ruler, they received land from the ruler. They distributed them into into tenants for cultivation. So naikas, they were given amara, a piece of land, a piece of land in, in lieu of their services. And later we see that these naikas, they distributed, they 
distributed the land they distributed the piece of land among tenants among tenants for cultivation in return naikas they collected land tax they collected the land tax regularly from the tenants from the tenants so naikara system is one of the important administrative one of the important characteristics feature of vijayanagar administration so naikas were the head of they were the head of the head of the provinces they were the military governors military rulers military rule they were autonomous they were responsible for maintaining law and order and we see that they were responsible for they were responsible for maintaining we see they did construct workers for the welfare of the empire welfare of the empire so dear students this was all about nine kara system so video ko dekhne ke sath channel ko subscribe karna na bhule